So the question is, what am I thinking about a refugee crisis uh, in Europe or uh, migration crisis? And I think that it's not a migration crisis, but it's a political crisis and it's a crisis of govern. So um, and it's a crisis of um, solidarity and humanity and um, of course um, refugees from Syria who uh, suffer from uh, war, from civil war, from bombing and etc etc are looking for asylum and uh, they need the safe place for living for them and for their children but what uh, did they face they faced with the um, inhuman treatment from uh, some European countries governments and uh, and it's a lack of solidarity and it's a lack of humanity and it's um, some kind of misanthropy and uh, of course inertia a great great inertia and uh, we see that uh, in many countries our uh, locals local people behave as uh, uh, sheep uh, behave li like um, indifferent people they don't care about other people but think only about themselves and um, and govern and and governments of some Euro European countries uh, use it uh, to uh, to make a protest wave against uh, refugees and to construct a new worlds um, uh, divided Europe uh, from um, other world so like uh, fortress so um, it's of course it's a um, crisis of human rights values it's a crisis of uh, um, of European uh, civilization and it's a great great challenge for Europe because we see um, in Europe um, uh, a race um, uh, of uh, modern fascism and modern racism and uh, modern uh, xenophobia uh, including Islamophobia um, as well so and uh, of course uh, we see a crisis of civil society because um, adequate people are honest people and uh, sincere people um, who try who try to make a difference um, cannot or maybe it's difficult for them to uh, make an influence on uh, their governments to change the situation to make a difference uh, so um, we see some kind of uh, crisis of democracy yes and we see that democracy is a great myth it's a it's a construct which uh, doesn't work um, in many ways 
and uh, governments uh, don't want to uh, hear uh, voices from from the streets yes and uh, from um, non uh, politicians so from civil society maybe and uh, so what uh, what what should we do um, should we accept this uh, bad situation of course no and we should resist and um, um, save uh, uh, human rights uh, values uh, democratic values and um, speak loud sp about uh, these uh, things and uh, try to uh, change it and uh, um, we have enough power to help other people and uh, we uh, we don't need a lot of efforts to help uh, people in need, to help uh, refugees, to help uh, victims of uh, civil war in Syria and uh, uh, on the political refugees from other parts um, of the world. And um, it's easy to adopt uh, children, it's easy to feed them, to share them with uh, a s small amount of uh, money and it uh, it will help them of course as in in my point of view it goes without saying so it's easy to help people and um, of course we must be an examples and uh, um, uh, uh, persons who um, do it so, uh, real opposition uh, is uh, um, respect human rights or uh, don't respect human rights. To respect other people or don't respect them. So, what and uh, all of us um, can change in uh, what side uh, is uh, uh, he or she yeah in in what side uh, we are so um, I hope that uh, everything uh, w will be okay okay and uh, uh, the Euro uh, Europe will find a solution and uh, all of us and each of us is uh, responsible for the situation.